good morning, beautiful people. It is Tuesday, March the 19th. It is a gorgeous day. Uh, it looks like spring is here. And I would just like to thank you for, uh, for tuning in and uh, checking out my thoughts. Um, I have a 25 minute, 25 minute commute uh, to work and home every day. And in my truck here uh, is where I do all my thinking. It's where I have my me time, uh, my space. It is, this is all for me, this drive. And I make the most of it. And uh, sometimes I, I think things just like, oh, I really gotta share that. Or man, it would be great if other people could understand this. And I'm not saying I have all the answers by any means, um, but I am on a journey of self-discovery and personal development. And I pay a lot of money for some of that stuff, for some of that information. And it's worth its weight in gold, and it needs to be shared. So that is the uh, that's the purpose of of what uh, what I'm doing here with my morning drive with Kathy. So once again, guys, thanks so much. Um, I'm basically going to get right into it. What I wanted to talk about today was integrity. Um, you know, I've always prided myself to be an integrous person, and if I say I'm going to do something or you know commit to something, then you know I do it. Um, you know, operating within integrity at my sales job. Uh, it's the number one thing that I insist on uh, with myself and my team. And I'm very proud that, that we follow that, that kind of a process. Um, but it was interesting because I've always felt like, oh yeah, I have, I have integrity. You know, I am a very integrous person. Um, but then I went to this amazing uh, event called Awaken, and it was uh, hosted by Todd Campbell and his uh, fantastic team of people. And it is a personal growth seminar that everyone needs to go to. And one of my biggest takeaways was I've always believed, as I said, I have integrity and that I operate that way. But what I learned in that seminar is that I don't operate with integrity when it comes to my own life. And that's kind of, that was like, wow. That was like a big one for me because it's absolutely true. I don't. Um, I find that I am the queen of procrastination. Procrastination. Uh, I should have like a big freaking crown with a big light up P on there uh, because I'm the queen of that. And uh, it's so important, I think, to realize that when we promise ourselves things or we commit to things you know a diet or quitting a habit or taking up a new habit you know something like that um, I think it's just so important to keep the integrity in our own lives so if you commit to something for yourself maybe you haven't told anybody well have integrity you know we need we need to have integrity with ourselves within our own lives and, you know, I, I know for myself, I, you know, I'd like to lose 30 pounds. That's what I put on since I worked at the dealership. And I procrastinate. I'm like, okay, tomorrow when this food's gone. Oh, tomorrow when that meal's over. Or, oh, I have a birthday party and I want to eat. Or, oh, we're going to go camping. Or, uh, how about the first of the month? Uh, starting Monday. That's my big one. Starting Monday. Um, anyway, I think you understand. You get it. I procrastinate. I don't hold myself accountable. And I need to start operating with integrity within my own life if I want to make the things, uh, if I want to create my own life quicker, much quicker, because I know I'm creating it, we all are. Uh, but there's things that I want to do and I want to do them quickly. And um, yeah, so I think it's, it's really important that we all take a minute and think about, you know, do we operate with integrity within, within our own lives? And, and really take a good hard look. Because I bet you most of us are going to say, wow, I don't. I have integrity for other people and events and organizations and things, but I don't have integrity for myself. So that's gotta change. That's totally gotta change. Um, I think that, uh, yeah, my husband, handy dandy little dash cami thing there is yeah it's uh it's working kind of it's moving <laughs> i gotta get her get it set up so anyway um i hope everyone can get a little bit of value out of this 
and think about your own integrity, think about your own life. How do you hold yourself accountable for the things in your life? Uh, do you do it or do you procrastinate like I do? Um, I think that, uh, you know, maybe sitting down and writing out a list of some of the, some of the simple ways that, that you can start incorporating integrity into your own life process and, and see where that takes you. And don't wait for tomorrow or next week or Monday or the end of the beginning of the month, whatever. There's no reason that you can't start right after this. Get a pen and paper. Um, or take a, a few minutes and just sit down quietly to yourself and think about the areas of your life that you want to incorporate uh, a higher standard of integrity in. And yeah, I think you're going to get some really great value out of that. And um, yeah. So anyway, my wonderful people, have a fabulous day. Uh, let me know if, uh, if the integrity thing was something that uh, you got any value out of, if it made you think. I always like to hear people's feedback. And of course, I'd always love some feedback too. If anyone has a question for me or wants to know what my, my thoughts are on, on any kind of a topic, please, you know, help me out. Give me some topics here that I know people are interested in. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's learn together, grow together, share together, and, uh, and just uh, have, have a fabulous life. And I love all of you. Uh, my friends are such an important part of my life. I always say that, uh, you know, my phone, uh, my computer are my two favorite things. And it can be the downfall of people. But for me, that's where all my friends are. All my friends are in my phone. And I love it because I can pick it up anytime, check them out, see what they're doing. I can give them a call, whatever. Um, so anyway, let's stay connected here. Uh, technical devices, whatever, wooden technology. Uh, this is awesome. So like I said, let's, uh, let's grow together. Give me your ideas, your thoughts, and uh, have a fantastic day. And as always, uh, be safe, have fun, and think good thoughts.